Do you expect privacy when you're out in the public? You know that any camera can capture your anim image at any time, but what about when the government does it? License plate readers have been around for years in the Charlotte area, and there's no question they have helped to solve crimes. But reporter Glenn Counts investigated and found the information they capture has helped involves all of us, not just criminals. You are being watched. Every time you get behind the wheel of your car, a camera is never far away. We employ this technology in places that uh, enhance the community safety. Lieutenant Travis Pardue heads up the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department's real-time crime center. We're looking for missing persons, fugitives, stolen tags, stolen cars. The biggest weapon in this high-tech crime-fighting war, cameras like this one. It's a license plate reader. They're strategically placed all over the city, and yes, they read license plates. When a wanted car is identified, the real-time crime center gets a signal. It flashes red and tells investigators where that car is. We're not comfortable with this sort of unfettered access to our personal data. Mike Mino and the ACLU have some major privacy concerns with readers and the fact that they cast a wide net scanning the tags of everyone who drives by. Regardless of whether we're suspected of a crime, whether there's any reason for the government to be tracking our location. So what can you learn from this data? Well, basically, it's a road map to your personal life. Your location can tell a lot about who you are as a person and it can reveal sensitive data that I think most of us would like to keep private. So how wide of a net are we talking? The system can read 3,000 tags in an hour. If you multiply that by 24, that's 72,000 tags in a day and 26 million tags in a year. At one time, police agencies could keep that data for as long as they wanted. But in 2015, the legislature changed it, limiting it to 90 days. The information is purged after 90 days. Uh, period uh, and without fail. CMPD says that data is not shared with any third parties and access within the department is limited and monitored. Police don't believe there's a privacy trade-off and they say the system has helped them solve hundreds of crimes like the arrest of Devontae Everett and James Allen for a series of convenience store robberies. One day. Last month a relative reported Kelly Blake and her three children as missing so her license plate triggered a follow-up by an officer. He was like, you know you're considered a missing person. And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I was like, I'm not missing or nothing like that. There's no evidence police in Charlotte have misused this technology. But other states have seen problems, such as data going to third parties like the repo man. Police insist that would never happen here. And it's not like putting a tracking device on a car. As good of, as the system is in the city, it doesn't have that capacity to follow a car continuously. It, it's just not designed that way. Kelly Blake doesn't need to be convinced. She so saw the good up really close wrong, and personal. Like if, it, if I was truly a missing person, they would have found me quite quickly. That was Glenn Counts reporting. CMPD actually uses a company in Florida called NDI for its license plate reader program. And again, as he mentioned, under the city's contract, the city owns that data, not that company. And sharing with third parties is forbidden.